Under current Georgia law, I can record a private conversation with you without your knowledge and broadcast it to the world. Some Georgia lawmakers would like to change that. And while they argue it's a matter of simple fairness, I think they're wrong. Senate Bill 59, filed by Senator Jeff Mullis, would require all parties of a conversation not only to be notified that a conversation is being recorded, but to give their consent, either in writing or verbally. Two-party consent, they call it, because both parties in the conversation have to agree to the recording. That's the law in 12 other states like California, Michigan, Connecticut, and Illinois. I say no thanks because Georgia's one-party consent law has valuable benefits in court and in the workplace. For example, recordings play a role in documenting sexual harassment, exposing fraud, and verifying business agreements. They're also a vital tool in investigative journalism and holding elected officials accountable. Senator Mullis's proposal would make secret recordings a crime, even if they aren't used for anything. He was quoted saying that people have a right to know when people are recording them. No, they don't. The Constitution restricts the government, not the people. Someone can choose not to talk to me or you or anyone. There is no right beyond that. Two consenting adults can freely exchange information and then walk away, repeat it, post it on social media, or tell a friend about it, all of which is guaranteed by the First Amendment. And this is no different, except a recording provides proof. Richard Griffiths of the Georgia First Amendment Foundation has said that this bill would be very bad for the public and could keep people from being able to pursue legal action against people trying to commit fraud. And let's be honest, Mullis and the other sponsors of the bill were hefty political donors to Casey Cagle, whose run for governor was damaged by secret recordings during the 2018 election. A number of people, including me, believe this is merely payback for that. And that's a terrible reason for a new law. This legislation not only would restrict individual liberty, it would also interfere in private interactions between two parties who are already consenting to have a conversation. If you agree, contact Senator Jeff Mullis. Here's his email and his phone number. Let him know that you don't think the state has any business meddling in the conversations between adults and that our consent laws are fine just the way they are. All right, just so we're all clear, this segment represents my views and not necessarily those of Fox 5 Atlanta, but we wanna know whether it represents your views. So tell us whether you like it or not. And who knows, maybe I'll respond to you on Fox 5.